starts on Wednesday. Yep. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. I am oh, we're so excited because okay, today's Monday. We're, we're getting ready to get started because Cans is coming up. It starts on Wednesday this week. We have a number of people that have already left and we're leaving this weekend. Another batch is leaving tomorrow. So I'm so excited. We're getting all this information about Cans that's coming in. Um, we're looking at all the lists. There are a million things to do over there because, of course, we had told you, remember, all those entertainment and film professionals that are going to be in the south of France. So I'm really, really excited. So stay tuned because we're going to have lots of Cannes coverage coming up. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old camera with comments on the headlines of today. See, here's a bet. The part is... Another member of Monty's family. This is proof positive that what happens in Vegas does not stay in Vegas. Oh. And they look like Monty. Oh. Yeah. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, it is. The day this morning, they've been called racist and, and homophobic, and they're out to get the first black American president. And, uh, basically, uh, he's trying to deflect the fact that he's got caught. And uh, they got a huge scandal. There's one scandal after another after another. He's now, what they said, he's doing the Richard Nixon, um, you know, dying a thousand times every day because of the new stuff that comes out on him and his administration. Mm -hmm. So like one of the people did say this morning, one of the people on the left who has been basically a, loves the President of the United States basically, he's got, sort of got tired of being lied to when he interviews him and he said, it's not a matter if, when, if he's going, it's a matter of just simply when Ooh. that Biden becomes President of the United States. Ooh, and the White House has nothing to do with lies over Benghazi or IRS targeting conservatives for audits or threats to whistleblowers. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's what Obama said again this morning. Obama held a press conference where he made certain that he could only be asked single questions with no follow-ups, and when they kept referring to the same things, that was the end of the press conference today. In that, mm -hmm. they, they, he's on the run. He, they, a second-term president has a hundred days to get things done. It's tradition. This guy is basically going to be defending himself for the next three years, folks. And and here it works is is that he has no what it was. They said he has no defense if those people were murdered, and he knew they were being he knew they were going to be murdered, and he did nothing to try to help them. He then becomes a, you know a participant. So when he goes out of office, unlike George Bush, who they wanted to try for crimes. They got a real tangible crime that they can get the president on. Also now, it seems like the, as soon the day, the day after Obama made his, his attack on the Supreme Court in a State of the Union message, the Internal Revenue Service started targeting Republican groups. Mm -hmm. And they targeted, if you mentioned anything that had to do with the preamble to the Constitution of the United States or the Bill of Rights, you were targeted to be, have, to be uh, the IRS to go after you. So they think that it's, it's not, nobody buys the fact there was three uh, three underlings that have not even been dismissed or, or censured. So they, they, they come from the White House, folks. And Wisconsin budget gets $500 million boost. Yeah, and they're basically just pissing the unions off because this is going to bring an end to the state. So what happens is he reduced taxes in the state, let the unions decide over whether, who should negotiate for them, and the state's making money. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Which basically destroys the thing. Well, we're, you know, we're, they're going to destroy our country. They're going to give all the money to the wealthy. Well, no. They cut taxes on little businesses, and guess what is mm -hmm. prospering in the state of Wisconsin? Mm -hmm. The businesses they cut the taxes for. And Wisconsin budget gets $500 million you know, boost. She oh. likes that one. She well, I she know. Likes she likes it because she's... Five hundred million dollars. It's still a lot, unless you're Obama. Then it's basically, uh, it's what he spends to play golf on a, a weekend, I think. And Algeria says sharp oil price fall would mean budget cuts. Well, there's no oil price falling. I mean, and I don't think. I don't 90, know that I. The oil price went up. dollars a barrel is not a falling thing. The problem is the president wants gas prices to go up, but the more trouble he gets in, and the worse the economy really is. See, people are not working. Like they, they get this, well, houses are selling at record amounts, and we're, the prices are going up because there's no inventory available. While I was talking this morning, if we can go out on where, where this place is or my place is, in fact, you can pick any neighborhood in the United States and take a tennis ball and throw it any direction you want, you're going to find houses that are for sale that don't have for sale signs on them. There's plenty of inventory. They're just off the books at the moment because we know two houses side by side 
who basically, you know, uh, uh, they're being vandalized now because there's nobody in them. Ohio man's ex kin says he beat him them and kept mannequin. Kept mannequin. I I know. What? It, that that made no sense to me. I mean, sometimes news items don't make much sense. And Obama rallies room in, around Obamacare ahead of Mother's Day. Uh, yeah, that's that's an old piece of news, folks. They don't okay. Uh, but that Mother's Day was yesterday, so you know when this page was created <laughs> is yesterday. Well, I was wondering. <laughs> no, um, I didn't cut that one out. I was, I was wondering. I was like, no, is there something else was, that was in there? I've, I've been in computer hell for the last for the last day because of the fact that um, we discovered that uh, you can't uh, on the newer operating systems you can no longer delete your files. It's backing everything up on your computer. So if, for instance, if you had 500 gigabytes being used before in your computer and you delete them, that 500 million gigabytes is still on your hard drive. I know, you're going, how come it's still there on my freaking computer? Because the new systems are backing everything up. It advises you, if you wish to have these files go on completely, to shred the files, which is why Microsoft now includes a shredder with the systems. And Bangladesh braces for unrest as judges prepare war crime verdict. Well, yeah, well, because what's going to happen is that Bangladesh is going to find, Maz, uh, find people from India or Pakistan as guilty of war crimes, which basically is going to cause, I mean, you think the Indians or the, pa uh, the Pakistanis are going to let that go? Mm. I mean, basically, <laughs> there is no military in, Paca in Bangladesh, it's nothing, folks. And witnesses denounce response to Benghazi in an emotional hearing. And the Democrats basically, here is the problem is that, uh, they're all, I heard this morning, I, I was listening to the news yesterday, which I thought was unbelievable. They, one of the people on their side said, uh, he starts to ask a follow-up to a con I knew you were going to go there. Mm -hmm. uh, and he, he said, I'm on your side, and why the hell, did, he said that, why the hell did you say that to me? Mm -hmm. And he said, this is, a, he told him, this is a news show. I do not take my orders from the President of the United States like you do. And you can either answer the questions that I'm going to ask, as you agreed you would, or you can leave. Mm -hmm. Oh, I said that way. I, uh, mis I was misunderstood. I was talking to someone else in the room, not you. Mm -hmm. No, you weren't. And, and you're House pissing people off in the press. And House Republicans plan another Obamacare repeal vote. Well, they're going to repeal it. It's Obamacare is basically, like, uh, the latest thing is, is that, you know, everybody thought, well, you can basically just pay a fine and get away from it. No. He's going to have the IRS give you a 12, I think a 12 percent penalty on every month you do not join the health care program. Mm -hmm. So it means it's, it's mandatory, which they basically said you can't force people in our country to do to join anything. So now, unless they they said his original tax was legal, but you cannot put a tax on a tax, mm -hmm. and that makes it even more illegal. He he's desperate, but like the desperation is. He's appealing to businesses out there, out of the generosity of their heart, to contribute the money necessary to institute a program that they all hate, and they know that it's going to put them out of business. So boy, they're they're running to jump. The, you know, he, his friends at the big businesses are just rushing to donate a hundred billion dollars to the health care program. And House Republicans plan another Obamacare repeal vote. They know she likes it. Oh, yeah. Food offensive continues. Obama to dine with House Democrats. I love this. Food offensive continues. Oh, yeah. He's basically, he's in so much trouble, he's cherry-picking Democrats that he thinks he can swing over to his side to protect his butt. But the problem is, the IRS thing went over, went over the top for Democrats because they remember when Nixon did it, and he's starting to sound a lot like Nixon. And then this morning, Bloomberg... May, who's a big supporter of the Obama presidency, may have went over the line and manipulated the stock market for the last two years in his presidency. When you know that's when the stock market said they found it coincidental, the market started to rise at the same time they possibly were using information they were getting off of terminals to manipulate the stock market and the news on the market. And House Republicans plan another Obamacare repeal vote. She likes that. That's the fourth oh. time she said that now. Oh, this is what happens when I turn my head. Okay, Mark Sanford wins election for South Carolina House seat. I know. See, he went from a governor to a representative and next year, in two years, to the Senate. Because nobody cares anymore if you're fooling around with somebody. I mean, okay, 
the, 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 in, the, in, the, in the standard bit of politicians, he, he, his wife wanted him to be president, he didn't want to run for president, so I can bet what that house must have been like because he didn't want to run for president. Okay. So he goes fooling around with somebody in Argentina or something. Are you serious? Yeah, so he had to resign from office because of the scandal. He just was fooling around on his wife. They do that. I mean, I hate to tell that happens people. all the time. I mean, all, half the people out there in the country do it nowadays. Either wife's or husband. So. And Obama administration weighs options for expanding wiretap laws. I know. <laughs> I mean, they love that. I love this and, one. And, and this morning, Bloomberg, one of his biggest supporters, gets caught basically tapping other people's ter they Okay. They own the terminals in all of these news operations and government offices and in stock brokerages all over the United States and they were hitting those terminals up for information. And you think that they're going to give Obama greater wiretapping authority for, the, for uh, his people when one of his people has already done something naughty? And a Monty bubble is in front of Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, uh, okay, that I'm trying to figure out. Okay, uh, this one's a good one. That when you lie on videotape in front of a hundred million people you can't say it never happened today. <laughs>